The Catholic Church in 2004 canonized Gianna Beretta Mala a saint for her heroic virtue in choosing the life of her child over her own. St. Gianna refused to get an abortion and died one week after her daughter's birth. This week, we introduce you to another woman living in Michigan who is showing great courage to protect her child's life as well. Here is this week's Pro-Life Focus. Greater love has no man than this, than a man laid down his life for his friends. It's a well-known Bible verse, but for the DeClion family, it's one that surely hits close to home. Carrie DeClion was experiencing severe headaches for two weeks before going to the hospital in April. The doctors told the Michigan mother of five devastating news. She had glioblastoma, a fast-growing brain tumor. In an exclusive EWTN Pro-Life Weekly interview, Carrie's husband Nick and her sister-in-law, Sonia, tell us the doctors then performed a routine pregnancy test. They actually do pregnancy tests every time uh, a patient comes in that's a female, and they said that she was not, that she wasn't pregnant. But a few weeks later, the doctors realized they were wrong. Carrie was pregnant, and they advised her to get an abortion so she could undergo cancer treatment. Before we, you know, made a decision, I just asked her, I said, you know, what do you, what do you want to do? And she just said, I think it's already clear what we're going to do. There's no way that we're getting rid of the baby. For Carrie, choosing to keep the baby and forego treatment was a decision based on trust and faith in the Lord. She said, well, whether I get my healing here or I get my healing in heaven, either way I'm going to be healed. Since the diagnosis, Carrie has undergone four major brain surgeries and suffered a stroke a few weeks back. Ever since, she's been unconscious and has been using a feeding tube and a machine to help her breathe. Sometimes, like, if you ask her to squeeze your hand, she might do it sometimes and sometimes she doesn't. For the DeClion family, the past few months have been life-altering. The five kids, ages ranging from 18 years old to two, have been without their mother. And Nick sold his company in order to be present for Carrie. I don't really know as far as like what my future holds. It's kind of, I'm just living today and then tomorrow. And, you know, I know that, you know, I'm going to be a single father with six kids, three under the age of five. Their Christian church has been collecting donations, and Nick's sister, Sonia, has set up a GoFundMe page to support the family's future. Our goal right now is to have Nick set up so that he can take care of his children, that he's able to stay home with his youngest children until they're in school. So really, we have a, a big goal to set for him, but we really feel like with the support we've been receiving that we'll be able to achieve those goals. While Carrie is currently weak, their unborn child is strong. Doctors predict the baby may be born with a learning disability, but is still healthy. The growing baby is a girl, and the declients have decided to name the youngest daughter Life, something they're learning to value more and more each day. I'm just going to tell her that, you know, mom gave her life so that my daughter could live. Motherhood is life-giving, and Carrie DeClient's choice reminds us of that. I would tell everybody that Carrie is the most selfless person. And I'm not just saying that because she's my wife, because she knew that she's probably not going to live, but yet she would lay down her own life for our daughter that um, is going to be born here in a few months.